Dear Liz Karina, it is October 16th and I should be doing homework, but I decided let's finally start this YouTube channel. <laughs> is this video going to be really long? I think it's going to be really long. We talked a while about what it is we wanted to do with this channel, what direction we wanted to go in, and I realized we really shouldn't worry about that too much, you know? If we're being honest, no one's going to watch these but us. <laughs> My life isn't really that interesting. I don't know that it is interesting enough to put videos online saying what I've done in the past week, but you always seem interested, and I'm certainly interested in you, so we'll make it fun. So I'm just going to post these videos, and it'll be entertainment for the two of us. And if it's just us, that is okay. I mean, if people join in along the ride, that'll be, that'll be fun. But now I think the reason we wanted to start these videos in the first place was so that we could have a new way to talk and connect, and this could be our thing. It's like video letters, just telling you about what I'm up to and what's going on in my life, what fun adventures I'm going on, and hopefully it feels like you're joining in. All I have is this computer, so sound is going to be terrible and videos going to be limited, but I'll do what I can. I'll do my best to keep you involved. I wish I had a handheld camera so I could take you with me places because that would be so fun. I would love to show you just things that I do throughout the day, but that will come at a later time maybe. <laughs> I'm still going to be sending you actual letters because that's something we both look forward to a lot. But. I'll save the letters for more personal stuff, stuff that I'm not going to put on the internet. But these will just be fun. Little weekly updates, I guess. I don't know when you're going to be available to post things. I don't know when I'm going to be available to post things. But I'm going to try to do one video every two weeks. Maybe by then I'll have interesting things to share. And this way we'll actually be able to see each other when we're telling stories, which will be a lot better, I think. So it's junior year at McDaniel College, and that means I'm going a little crazy because I'm constantly busy. I just got back from fall break, actually, so I had a couple days off. And it was nice to go home, you know, I got to see my sister and my mommy, and I got to see Christina, my niece. And I got to go to church, which was really nice. You know, it's always good to go back. But I definitely was ready to come back to McDaniel. That doesn't happen often. Usually I like relaxing at home. But this time, I feel like I definitely needed to be back on campus. Although, now that I'm here, I'm stressing about everything. Because even though I'm only taking theater classes, it's so much work that goes into creating these characters and perfecting these songs and, and being what directors want from you. Which, you know, is the career I chose, I suppose. My teachers are certainly challenging me, but it's, I can tell it's going to pay off. They're super patient, and they have a lot of faith in me, so I'm not gonna let them down. It just means I have to do a lot of work, which I should be doing now, but, nah. Um, as you know, one of my jobs is as peer mentor, so I'm in charge of a group of kids, just 10 students who are freshmen, and it's my job to guide them more or less in college as well as be there as a support within their first year seminar, which they have been fantastic with. They, they just get it. They're hilarious and they're sweet and they're all very hardworking. You can tell they went into this class a little nervous and by now they get along very well and they participate. And I'm just very proud of the work that they do. I can't wait to see what else they do. I guess the big thing to tell you in my life right now, I got cast in the spring show. It's called the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee and I am cast as Logan. So if you're interested in looking that up, then go ahead and do so just to get an idea. 
but I'll be talking more about that as time passes. We're actually not starting anything with that until next semester. The only reason they cast it so early is because there's a class attached. So since we're registering in a couple of weeks, they want us to know that we have to take the class before we start looking at what other classes we can take. I've been very busy with uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. I'm playing Snout, who is one of the laborers. I don't know how well you know Midsummer Night's Dream, but there's like three different casts within one show, more or less. There's the lovers who are going crazy in this forest trying to get the one they love to love them back. There are the fairies who live in the forest and just spread chaos everywhere they go. And then there are the laborers who are putting on a play for a wedding, for the Duke's wedding, so it's a very big deal. But the issue is they're very bad actors, so the laborers are basically there for comic relief. And I'm one of them, and it's really exciting. It's been hilarious, but it's a lot of work, and the show goes up in November, so I'll tell you more about that rehearsal process as things go on. The highlight of my week is definitely my new necklace, the one your brother bought for me, that has a pretty blue rose on it. Do you see that? I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. It's probably one of the prettiest things I've ever owned. And it's just my new favorite thing, so please, whenever you see your brother, hug him for me. You also get to finally see my dorm. I don't think we've Skyped this year at all, so you finally get to see my dorm. And you see the painting. Painting, where is it? Over there. Yes, camera. Yes, there. That your brother gave me a while ago, and over here I have all these, like, pictures and stuff that Harrison made. And then my desk is pretty, pretty normal. Just, let's see, books and movies and hats for fun. And you see this little green mural. It's a bunch of index cards. Each one of them is written by a friend of mine who visited me in my room last year. And I asked them to write things that made them happy on a card. And so I kept all of the ones from last year and put them up on my board this year. And it's just a nice reminder when I'm feeling down. Um, that's really my half of the room. Jess's side is a little prettier. It has a lot more lights and posters and things. But I'll show that to you when her bed is made and she doesn't get upset with me. <laughs> Rooming with Jess has been a blast. I love that girl to pieces. She'll probably be in one of these videos at some point. The two of us work very well off each other, which... I'm sure you will get to see at some point. She'll probably be doing something crazy in the background and it will definitely make the video. Absolutely. <laughs> so my fraternity, or my honor society, however you prefer to call it, Alpha Psi Omega. We have been planning a lot of events this month. You know, it's a very involved time for the theater. We're getting ready for lots of Halloween events. We're actually planning a trick-or-treating event for the kids of Westminster. So just come onto campus. It's a Thursday. It's November 23rd. It's at 5 to 7, something very early, so the kids get to sleep on time. But the different organizations on campus are going to be hosting different stations where the kids can get some candy and play some games. And I'm really excited because one of our own came up with the idea and got the entire school on board. And I cannot wait, it's going to be fantastic. I hope we get some really good advertising done for it. This Sunday, we are having a meet and greet with Alpha Psi and we are painting pumpkins and I'm really excited. And the potential new members seem so excited. They've all been fantastic. They have a million questions because they're so ready to join. All these really great people wanting so eagerly to join this family that we have. I'm hoping maybe I get to go to an Anne Berlin concert in November. Um, Jess agreed that if I do get permission to go, she will go with me and she will pay for half of my ticket because she loves me and she's a beautiful person. 
So hopefully that's something I get to do. I just got to make sure it's okay with my mom. Of course, you know, I'm 19 and still asking my mom for permission, but hey, that's, that's how it goes. That's how we were raised. <laughs> Real quick, before I go, I encourage you to look up a song. It's called Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon, and it's everything. I'm obsessed with it. You need to hear it, because it's, oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. As soon as I've gotten far enough in my work, I will sit down and I will write your letters and I will send them very, very soon. Within the week, I promise. <laughs> As always, I miss you so much, and I hope to hear from you soon. Maybe we could keep these things going. Um, my editing skills are terrible, so I can't guarantee that this video is going to be pretty at all. But you know what? It's a video, and it'll be up. And when it's up, we will have started a channel. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> but if I'm doing this with anyone, I'm glad it's with you. Stop. We'll learn as we go along with these videos. We'll learn how to make them and how to not sound bumbly, how to not pause a million times, and how to actually sound coherent. Maybe Skype me soon so we can talk about these and they can show up a little more organized. That might be a good idea. <laughs> this is hard, you know? I'm trying to be interesting and I don't know how interesting I am, but we'll figure something out, I guess. <laughs> and I hope to hear from you soon. Love, Sammy. Is that too cheesy? I'm keeping it in. <laughs>